so we're working on Lily's jumping. Um, she tends to drag her back end and we want her to pick it up. We want her to get a little more airborne, a little more confident in the air. So let's just take a look at a normal throw here. So the first, the first attempt there wasn't great. The second one, you can see she got her butt up a little bit. Let's do that again, Andrea. It's fine, Andrea. We throw one higher. Let's let's get it. Throw it about chest height. What we want is for Lily to get the disc in the air at chest height. You can see she waits till it comes down. So it's just above her head and it makes, you know, that's a pretty nice jump. So now let's do a, a take at chest height. The butt, the butt all the way down. Let's give her a little more space. So let's give her a running, a running start this time. Again, she's going straight up for it. Notice she's not gathering from a distance. Andrea, give her a few strides this time. Good. Okay, good. So you still you can see that when the disc is up that high, she just wants to go straight up for it. So we set up this jump grade. Go ahead and set her up, Dre. We set up this jump grid. It's essentially a bump, kind of on the Susan Salo concept. You can see this first jump is just a little bit above the ground. You can see that it's elevated slightly. And then the next jump is a kind of a two level broad jump, right? You can see that it's got two levels here. You've got the first jump, which is lower, and then the second jump, which is higher. Where we want Lily to take the disc is about chest height. So Andrea's gonna hold the disc here. And we're, we've set Lily up straight in front of the jumps. Sit, Lil. Sit. Straight in front of the jumps. We want her to take one stride over the first bump, one stride, gather, and then leap over both of these jumps, taking the frisbee, clearing both of the both of the bars, and cleanly catching the disc. So let's go ahead. Her angle there was kind of like right at the disc, essentially ignoring the bars and just going right for the disc. We want to teach her, we want in her muscle memory a certain style of jump. So let's try it again. Good. Now you can see that time she cleared it and one of the main differences is she lifted up her back legs. So instead of letting them drag, she didn't go straight up. Now that hasn't, obviously this hasn't translated yet to catching frisbees. Um, we've only done it a few, th a few times, just a few throws. Uh, our goal is we're gonna use this before every session. And uh, what we want is for this to be the muscle memory activity for Lily's jump. So she gets more height and it, good. You can actually see her kick her back legs out, Dre. The back legs kick out straight. We feel like this would be safer for her. So we don't like when she goes straight up for jumps. She'll do that off a of vault, she'll do it off of normal throws. And of course a lot of this also depends on the quality of our throws. The, the height and speed and placement. So first of all we're just going to teach Lily to, um, to make the, the right trajectory and, and gathering for a jump. Let's go ahead and try a throw on that, Andrea. Now, this is really not an ideal experiment. One of the main, main reasons is that this is such a narrow, I mean, the, the throw accuracy has to be really good. The goal being for Lily to catch the disc at the right height, about chest height, about two steps past the jump. So Andrea's gonna have to put the disc in a really good spot. Lily's gonna have to see the disc, chase the disc, and make the, the correct launch. And it's windy. Yeah, and it's in the wind, so uh, 
This isn't an ideal experiment at all, but it's worth it. So there's the throw. Lily being the super intelligent dog that she is just <laughs> ran around. <laughs> I don't blame her. We tried this earlier and she actually, she took the jumps. You had, you didn't pull it through first. And I don't think that we had the, the broad jump at that point when we were doing it. There we go. Girl. Good. Cool. Now we'll go, we'll go back and look at the video and see what she did with her back legs there. Let's go ahead and try that one again, Andrea. Andrea, can you explain why whenever we shoot a video of you playing with the dogs, you're in your pajama pants? They're not pink pants this time, they're red pants. Right yep. Here. It's a luxury of working at home. <laughs> <laughs> you look very Christmassy.